Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. So you join me down the front of the R53 and today we're gonna to be talking about this red bonnet scoop. So this is one I've actually borrowed, but I noticed I hadn't done a video on how to fit the leak bonnet scoop and um, that I've got. So I've got an aftermarket one with a bigger scoop, gets more air into the, uh, onto the intercooler on a top mount car. So what we'll do, we'll talk you through the steps of removing the stock one and then we'll get the leak one fitted too. Okay, so we're gonna start under the bonnet so on your car it's going to be slightly different setup because you will have some sound deadening material now that doesn't make too much of a difference other than um that it looks slightly different under here so you'll also have a plastic tray that's held on by two screws and two bolts so i'll put a picture up on the screen now of where that is and how to remove that literally two bolts two screws and take that off next you've got the bonnet scoop itself and i'll bring the camera in but there's one two three four screws uh, depending on whether your bonnet scoot's been on and off before they're probably around an eight or a ten mil okay so if we come under the bonnet now now you'll notice there's a big section of mine gone that's because of my top mounting to call us so i've actually had to cut the metal away but what you will see is a bolt here a bolt here one at the back of the scoop there and one at the back of the scoop there so all we need to do and i've already loosened these off on my car to actually undo those to take those off so I'll set the camera down all you've got to do is undo those four bolts and the scoop should come off okay so we've got our 8mm socket and like I said I've already loosened these off make sure you don't drop these under the bonnet into the engine bay Just drop these little 8mm off put them somewhere safe because you may need them to reattach your new scoop third one all the way over here at the back great and we've got one just up here four okay and just make sure any wiring like this is out the way and that scoop's ready to come off so all we're going to do is close the bonnet and actually pull this off now okay so we've got those four bolts off so we should now there's two prongs that stick into the car there um, but it should come off pretty simple like that so if i show you the back of the scoop here you've got these couple of locating prongs you've got the two bolts here and actually there should be two brackets but this is a, a, a bit of a broken scoop that I borrowed off someone, so you'll see there'll be a bolt there and a bolt there. And this back edge hooks on just here as well. But it's really simple and easy to actually get the stock one off, so that was a super easy process. Let's go and grab the new scoop. Okay, so let's take a, com a comparison of the two scoops. So this one on the right is the stock one. This one on the left is the leap scoop. So you can see from the profile that the leap scoop is a lot lot taller and what that does it allows it to capture more air and especially with an r53 if you've got a top mount intercooler it's going to force more air onto the the intercooler and call that air going into the engine or if like me you've got a front mount then it's just going to call the engine bay and let allow cool air to get in so you can see it's a lot smaller profile the stock one that we've removed compared to the larger leap scoop one so that's the stock one and that's a leap one. You can see a massive difference in the height of them. And then if we flip them over to the side you don't normally see, you've obviously got one, two, three, four fixings. If we flip the leap scoop over, again, we've got one, two, three, four fixings. So it's the exact same fixings that the stock one has, minus the locator pins. So it should be held on nice and tightly. So it's a lovely product. You can see the nice big opening there when we get down low. So let's get it onto the car. Okay, so yours may look slightly different just because my car's been re-sprayed. We've done some cutting, so the black paint you can see here is just to stop any of the bits we might have cut uh, from rusting. 
so just ignore that yours will obviously all be body colored and this metal panel will actually join on your one but that doesn't matter it doesn't impact how we fit the bonnet screw so we talked about we've got one two three four fixings we've got one two uh, three four holes so all you've got to do is literally line up the holes and it goes on as simple as that now we've just got to gently lift the bonnet and bolt in from underneath with the uh, the four uh, nuts that we took off earlier okay so whether you're using the stop washers and bolts or whether you've got new ones to put on it's entirely up to you so all you do is slip those on and what I'd do is just do one at a time one at the back and a little tip might be to actually put a blanket or a towel over the engine bay so if you drop any of these sorry nuts as you take them on and off they'll actually just fall onto the towel rather than losing them into the engine bay that's a little tip for you okay so this is the third one going on now and all I'm doing is doing them finger tight to start with. And then just this one up in this corner. Okay, and once you're happy, grab your 8mm and just get those done up. and that's your bonnet scoop attached now one thing I would say is obviously I don't have the soundproofing because I'm not bothered about sound deadening on my car and um, it's not a daily so I'm not bothered about the extra noise coming out the bonnet from the engine but you can remove that if you want to you leave it in place you've also got the plastic tray that I talked about that you remove and that plastic tray funnels the air onto the intercooler so if you're going to keep that I'm not sure whether you can with the leap scoop, so have a look. But you may be able to just trim it with a Dremel tool or something. Um, if not, obviously the air is still going to flow through um, and go under into the engine bay anyway. So it's entirely up to you whether you keep that air diverter and try and tweak it a little bit, or whether you do away with it completely. Okay, so that's the larger leap bonnet scoop fitted to the car. So if you take a look from the side profile, you can see it's a lot more aggressive. It's got a lot bigger opening, so you can see lots of air getting in. And let's step back. And I hope you agree that looks a lot smarter. One and two, it actually has a functional purpose, especially with the R53, because that is actually a functioning grill, feeding air onto the intercooler. That does an, a great job of getting as much air in as possible. Okay, so that's the new bonnet scoop fitted to the car. So hopefully you found that video useful. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe for future content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Okay, thread the bit and there's actually little holes on the bottom.